Well, here we go, folks, the final match. It's the 10 o'clock p.m. scheduled slot. Bucky Subaton versus Karen Core right here on the live stream table. We ran through all our ads already. We'll flash a few more before we get underway. MolinariGlove.com. Check them out. They're supporting the live stream. And I think it's great that we can do this for free. MolinariGlove.com. Dan Hydrick, Hydrick Custom Cues. FA Clothing Line. Gotham City Technologies. Cousin Cues at AOL.com. The Easy Bridge. This is what it looks like. The Easy Bridge. Cousins Cues.com. The match at hand. You see it. Well, how about changing the scores? All right, I'll fix that up. Apologize. Don't forget, AccuStats will be bringing us the U.S. Open from Chesapeake, Virginia, the largest pool tournament in the States. And just a reminder, you are watching the Turning Stone Classic 24, and we are coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. I'm Upstate Owl of AZB TV, and we're going to be joining the booth by a couple of guest commentators. I don't know who's running around. I got the hooks out and the lures. We'll see who we can catch and throw in here. Remember, AZB TV are moving into Providence, Rhode Island, one of the best rooms in America, Snookers. Labor Day weekend, 5th through the 7th, the Eastern States Championship. This is the second annual one. We did the first one, and it was a blast. We had a great time. Gotham City, Gotham City Billiards Inaugural, the nine ball pro classic, $11,000 hard cash added to that event. Mike Zuglin making announcements. As Mike makes his announcements, and Bucky Suvaton sets up the break in rack number one. One ball into the left side pocket, and the two balls are going to be cleared for a shot into the bottom left-hand corner. It looks like Bucky's going to have to draw back and shoot the three into the bottom right-hand corner after this. And his opponent from Newburgh plays out of uh, uh, Gallery Billiards at Newburgh. He's sponsored by Focus Apparel, Mike Tuhi. Good luck. Okay, from Bath, New York, 
multiple winner on the Tri-State Tour and the CNY Tour. He's a regular here at Turning Stone. Jerry Crow, another regular down here at Turning Stone from Whitesboro, plays out of Hippos. Jed Jessen. Good luck, guys. To 15, Indian Trail, North Carolina. Sponsored by Hydra Custom Cues. We welcome Eddie Hierro and his opponent. He's from San Diego, California. He's a great pool player. He's also uh, the guy that we might, we might have to stop from playing to go fix up if something happens. We got Josh Ulrich. Well, that didn't take Bucky too long, as he played it just right, and he draws for his blood. One nothing, Bucky Subatong over Karen Core. And Mike Suglin finishes his announcements. The music will resume. Wing ball that time went right in. The eight ball looks like it's going to come into play. He might have the shot on the two. See if we can take a look. Oh, I got the cameras all whacked out of place here. See if we can get a better look at this cut shot. Well, it's a makeable ball, but he's going to have to play the cue ball towards the center of the table so he can have at least a shot on the three. The three doesn't look like it goes by the seven. Nice shot. He bumped the three out. Now he's got a shot. Beautifully done. Bucky Subaton has been around a long time. He played on many Josh tournaments, uh, plays in a lot of tournaments. Uh, went down south for a while, he's down around Georgia, and now he's back in Binghamton, New York. We had the uh, chance of having Bill Hendrickson in the booth uh, yesterday and filled us in a little more about Bucky's background. Hold the cue ball right there, but he's going to have to figure something out now. He's definitely going to have to use the bridge. Bucky's not the tallest person in the tournament, and uh, that cue ball is past the side pocket by at least two diamonds, so it's a stretch. He looks like he's going to attempt to cut this right into the corner pocket. Not attempt. He cut it into the corner pocket. Bucky Subathon taking no prisoners from the opening gate. Now leads this match. Two to nothing. Don't count Karen off. Uh, Karen's uh, beat many a champions right here at the Turning Stone and abroad. She's beating them all over the place.
Nine ball. Cue ball. The nine ball does count on the break, but the cue ball scratch, so it'll be spotted. Ball in hand for Karen Core with an open table. Karen uh, figuring out what path she wants to go. She's electing to go the other way. For those of you just learning the game, uh, what she's doing is calculating the route that she wants to go with the cue ball and what position she wants to be in the easiest way. So eliminating the three ball was crucial for which way she wanted to go. And keep in mind, she's thinking probably at the time of ball in hand, three and four balls ahead. Table's a little fast and she overran her position on the two. With the eight right where it is and the nine, I can't see her trying to cut this in. She's probably going to play a safe. Safety it is. And there you see the link in the chat. Excuse me, uh, sometimes I don't look at the chat. I'm actually looking away from the, the other monitors that I have here, uh, working some kind of switches. But there is a link there. Uh, too slow for me to put in there. And that'll bring you right to the scores, the live scores in the brackets of uh, the Turning Stone, which in case you're interested in another match that might be taking place, you could find it right there. Scotty B, if you try to put a link in, it didn't go in. Played a good save. She did want to get the cue ball behind the six, but this will work. Probably going to kick the four back down table. Watch that side pocket. Nice speed. And Bucky says, touche. I think there was a character in the Bronx tale. Something to pay. Oh no, Deshay Bippy, I think was uh, Deshay Bippy. Why does that ring a bell? I think that was the pub that the crew hung out in.
This is going to turn into a safety battle back and forth, but this is the first opportunity for the four ball to uh, for somebody to pocket the four ball. Straight shooter right in the box. I tell you, there's a lot of people still here and uh, people still arriving. Tomorrow it's going to even get more packed as Saturday moves in. Finally got to meet Tino Barberi and uh, Hannah Kwong. I hope I'm pronouncing their names the right way, their last names, out of Canada. Looks like Bucky wanted to come down a lot more than that and play the eight ball into the side pocket. He still has the side pocket. Say he's going to make it. He made one like worse than this with a bridge. And uh, as just as I say, I think he's going to make it. He misses it. The Irish invader, Karen Core. A look at the nine. And takes advantage of that opportunity. Puts a beat up on her side. She still trails by one. The score is now two to one in favor of Bucky Suvatong. Don't forget, folks, FA Clothing Line is on premises. If you're coming down, they're right here on premises. So is Dan Heydrich, and he brought some cues. Custom cues and of course Molinari Glove.com available online. Iplaypool.com. You can take lessons from the pros. They have videos right on there and uh, footage of matches teaching you how to play any game on the billiard table. I believe any game. Uh, you could use the code TURN15. If you're going to sign up to be a member, and you'll save yourself $35 with that code. Turn 15. Back to the match. We're going into rack number four. Cameron Core trailing by one. One ball into the side pocket.
Got on the wrong side of the seven ball here. Didn't calculate the speed. He's going to have to play the seven nine combination, and this is no gimme. You could just hit the nine on the wrong side of it, and it doesn't have to go in. Bucky just makes it look like cake. Now leads three to one over Karen Core. Once again, we're coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. I'm upstate Al. You're watching the Tony. The, the Tony. You're watching the Turning Stone Classic 24. We'd like to say thank you to everybody. And before I forget, since this is the last match, I'd like to thank everybody that's been helping out in the chat. Foxy, Jimmy, Ron Mason, Scotty B at a wherever. And uh, I don't know who else is in there right now. I can't go down the list. Uh, B Doc, my man Barry. Uh, TD's in there. Turbo Draw. AFB and A Ball and A Ball 1. And I just can't go down the whole list. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Wow, what a nice kick. But now it, the three ball doesn't go in the upper corner anyway. This young lady right here won many a titles. A list probably too long to read. Uh, she dominated the women's pool when she came over, right behind Allison Fisher. Allison Fisher was dominating it for a while, and then Karen Kaur come on premises, and it was a battle back and forth. Both great players.
Karen's actually thinking about snapping the six ball out right now with this shot and still having a shot on the five. That's what I think she has in mind. To draw her off of this four ball and go into the seven six to break them up and hopefully she'll hit the seven in the face and she'll still have a shot on the five. I don't know, well, not this way she's not going to, I don't believe. Yes, she is. She tried to hit it in the face and she did it real well. At least she loosened them up and now has the six ball shot after the five. She can elect to go to three inside rails right here. Played it long rail, short rail, and long rail. Escaping the nine, bringing the cue ball back to the center of the table or she can just try to draw her off it. She likes to go to three inside, cue ball to the center. Great shape. Stroke of a champion. Uh, the matches start tomorrow at 11, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it down there for that. I usually do, but um, no promises. But in any case, we will be up at noon for sure. If I decide to get down here early, I will turn the stream on. Trying to hook, I'm, I'm trying to hook Pat Fleming in here. He says, I didn't come to work. He says, I come to cruise and have a good time for once. <laughs> this is kind of funny position. She's kind of straight on this seven ball here. Looks like she's electing to go for the bank. Well, Bucky got the eight there where he wanted to get it. He called upon the pool guards to slow down so that Karen would have a bad angle on this eight. This isn't the type of shot you want to be shooting, but you know, you got to be thankful that you got the table in control right now. I don't see why Karen would have any problem with this. It's not the first time she faced a shot like this with the pressure but they are missable.
Well, you can see Bucky has a shot at the eight ball. This is kind of what uh, he left Karen. Ours was a little sharper cut. This one's a little easier, but still, this is no picnic of a shot. And Bucky misses it, but it looks like it might bank, and it didn't. And here is another one of those angled shots that nobody wants to face. But this one's off the rail a lot more, but the cue ball's still against the rail. So it's back-to-back off-angled shots. They're really hard. But this one's a little easier being off the rail like that. I think I missed something here. For some reason, I was doing something off to the side. I got to go take a quick run, as Karen says. Let's straighten that rack up a little bit. Okay, I just had to make sure that thought I missed the rack and I did. Something must have happened in that last rack. It's now four to two. Bucky's still in the lead.
Yes, she just snapped it off. Uh, looking over at the chat, Karen, just uh, won another event down at Rax. That's Mr. Holden Chin's pool room in he West Hempstead, Long Island. Five two now, and Bucky just keeps trudging ahead, and Karen's got to start punching a gear as Bucky reaches beyond the halfway point. It's a race to nine. Karen's going to have to step it up. Hey, how about a big shout out for Gotham City Technologies, Mr. Ron Mason, the man to go to if you want to fix any of your devices, build a website, or host a website. Gotham City Technologies. In fact, he built the website for Gotham City Billiard Club. And many more throughout the New York and beyond. <laughs> throughout the United States, I should say. But uh, he does a lot of work throughout uh, Manhattan. A lot of your major corporations uh, and their networking are built uh, by Gotham City Technologies. And uh, become friends with Ron Mason on Facebook. Uh, sometimes... Uh, not sometimes, a lot of times he needs help doing certain uh, work, and if you qualify, he uh, definitely could use some help on some of his real big uh, contracts. So check with Gotham City Technologies before you throw out that expensive device that you think doesn't work anymore. It just might be a firmware problem or, you know, something that Ron seen before and there's not much he hasn't seen except for something going scuba diving when it shouldn't go into the water but beyond that make sure you check with him Just the way that Bucky is playing, Karen, this is the way you have to play her. She's a champion in her own right. And if you don't hook her, when you don't have the shot, and I mean by hook her, you don't snook her or uh, play safe on her, she will uh, take advantage of it and you'll be sitting in a chair. So Bucky's playing real smart right now. He knows he has to. You know, she's a force to be reckoned with.
Well, it appears uh, Cameron found the gear. Navigating right through that rack. And with the sinking of this nine ball, she'll pull within two. Bucky has five. And if she should sink this, it'll be five, three. And she does, without a doubt, five, three now. Only trailing by two and breaking. She could break them and run out with the best of them. Hey guys, uh, here's a Facebook page that we created right here. Upstate Allen Friends on Facebook. If you can go over and uh, hit the like button. It'll be uh, pitches from, I took many a pitches here of everybody uh, that's in the tournament. I might have forgot a few or I didn't get a few because they might have been in the room sleeping. It wasn't time for the match. But uh, it's Upstate Allen Friends on Facebook. We appreciate it on this end. And feel free to share the pitches or whatever you wish to do. Mary Kiniston has free reigns. She can take any pitches she wants, and she's doing a great job. Big shout out to Mary. Preserving pool at its best. That's Mary Kiniston right there, this third one from the left. She's also on Facebook, and uh, it might be wee hours in the morning, and she's still awake putting out some pictures from the past until the present that she's preserving, and she's actually building a website uh, to preserve everything. Thank you, Foxy Blue, for putting that link in there. Appreciate that. That's the link right to Upstate Island Friends. If you have the Facebook accessibility, you'll go right there. Thank you. All right, five, three, Karen Breakin. Believe it or not, I don't think she has a piece of that one ball. It's an easy kick, but uh, you get a safe out of it. She wishes that she can see just a little piece of that one so she can play the camera into the four, but. I don't think that's going to happen. She can't see an iota of it. I don't like kicking at the one ball this way. I'd rather take the cue ball and put it right where the chalk is at the bottom left-hand corner, far away. And then she'll be able to see a piece of it. And I don't think it'll be enough to play the carom. It'll just be a little tiny piece of the one. She wants to stay at the table so bad, she's thinking about kicking behind the three. She has to bend the cue ball, so to say. Hit it with reverse to hold the angle, straighten out the angle to kick into the one. I don't like it, but uh, to each his own. You know, she just, she wants to stay at this table so bad. She wants to keep Bucky right in that chair. And that's what she went for, and she wound up hitting the three instead. She held it up too much. Ball in hand for Bucky Suvatang.
Bucky's looking at playing the 5-9 carom, nine ball into the corner pocket. He's looking at it real close. He's in a position here where he can break those up if necessary. That's what he went to do. He went to snap him out and didn't get there. Now this is what he's faced with. Boy, he can jam the cue ball right there. He just banked the five behind the six. Oh, he tried to hold the cue ball between the nine, eight, and he didn't get there. He's, he laughed at himself. He's that way. He's laughing right back to his seat, telling everybody he tried to stick the cue ball. <laughs> chatting with somebody right there. Has an opportunity for Karen. By all means, Karen should be out. Still trails by two, it's five to three. Very nicely. Position for the seven. Might be a little too straight. I don't know if she can go two rails, spin it out, and then shoot the eight into the bottom left-hand corner. That's what she did. Spun out two rails, eight into the bottom left-hand corner. And she, this table is running fast. So she overran it just a little bit. Could cause her a little bit of a problem, too. She has to come past the side pocket on the right-hand side to shoot the nine. Got to take the longer shot, but she's got it. All right, if she sinks this, it'll be 5-4 with Karen breaking. No doubt about it. Karen says, I got the gear, and I got to take advantage. 5-4 now. Karen Core racing a nine. Don't forget, folks, October 17th through the 19th, Gotham City Billiard Club in Brooklyn, New York. As we have a break here, October 17th through the 19th, like I said, it's Gotham City Billiard Inaugural. Nine ball classic. 64 professional players shooting for the cash. First place will be $7,500, second place will be $5,000, and so on. If you follow me on Facebook, uh, you'll find that post to circulating or on Twitter. Um, put it on your calendar if you want to attend in person. Uh, uh oh, no, no, you're not going nowhere. Come here. Eddie Colhane just come over with a cookie. Come here. Yeah, that's got to be the oatmeal and raisin. <laughs> uh, <Go ahead>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ed. All right. Wow.
All right, Karen Kors back in the arena, and we're ready to start firing again. Let me update you once more for Karen Kors. It's five to four, Bucky. Karen Kors trailing by one. You can hear me, right, Troy? Yes, sir. Okay. We have New Jersey pool player in the booth here, but uh, he's bonging on some lasagna as soon as he's done. Uh, he just wants to listen in as he's uh, eating here and try to pick up some commentating uh, practice. Uh, he's not going to learn anything, not from me, because uh, he's a great commentator in his own right. Let's go back to the table. As Karen says, the rack is not straight, Bucky. Move it this way and move it that way. Karen. Back to the inspection. It's the rack inspector. Karen says that's a nice rack. So we're back to the game. Once again, Karen Core trails by one, five, four, breaking. Going into game 10, right here at the Turning Stone. Come on by, guys. Come see the booth. Say hello. We want you in the booth. And uh, mingle with the pros. They got posters up at the front. They're given out for free. And you can have them signed by the pros. You don't get a chance that often uh, for these guys to be all on the one roof locally. guys and gals. In fact, Naomi Williams is on the other side over there. Somebody was asking who she is. I think Alex. Alex was sitting in the booth and he said, who's that young lady over there? Notice the cue ball, center of the short cushion at the bottom. She didn't want to leave the six out that far, but this is no gimme here. The only thing that Bucky has really on his side is just concentrating on making the six ball. You don't have to do anything since the seven is hanging, not hanging, but right there in the vicinity of the corner pocket on the bottom right side. So just concentrate on making this. This is a really hard shot off the rail like this. And that's why Karen elected to put him there.
New Jersey pool player in the house. Welcome aboard, sir. Hey, Al. Thanks for having me. Anytime. That door is never closed when you're around. I'll tell you what. This, uh, hey, don't everybody in the chat and all the viewers. I'd like to say this is an awesome venue they have out here. Not only is the room itself uh, something to see, but the area itself, even though it's, you know, next to, like, Canada almost. Four hours. <laughs> no, no, we're not four. Three hours from here, maybe maybe two and a half, But it's uh, depending on where you live. It's absolutely beautiful. I would recommend anybody come out and... Uh, this is your first time here, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. I would, I would, you know... This is not a bad idea. You bring your wife. There's golf. There's, there's every uh, professional golf course. Yeah, and there's you know it's summertime, so there's tons of things to do up here. Absolutely, um, and it's free to watch. Free to watch, you know, and you can see every match right here in front of you. Yeah, and I was going to mention that also. Alice. Go ahead. All right. uh, we have you know although we're watching a real nice nip and tuck game here, uh, but I was watching some of the other matches. I came in earlier today, and uh, it's one after another. You have these, uh, the names are oh, yeah. unbelievable. And the guys that are playing, watch Duchesne just, uh, I think he let his opponent up at one time at the table before. Um, it, it's just. Yeah, Mike Duchesne playing off the B side, so to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unbelievable. The best of the best are playing right now. How about this? 5-5, five, five, Karen just knots it up and she's breaking. Yeah, she, she plays nice and steady. Can't. Can't uh, make any mistakes playing her, that's for sure. You can hang with the best of them. No, no, no cameras, please. Hey, everybody. Scotty B, how you making out, buddy? Uh, you're on camera every Wednesday at the game show. <laughs> they got your number already. You can't go under the table anymore. This guy's, guy's running down his bleachers over here like he's uh, at a high school football game. Um, Did he fall or run? <laughs> no, no. Oh, so it's like, right, sticky. But uh, yeah, just you know, the, this room itself. This is one since I haven't been to Derby City yet either. And right. uh, but this room and the venue, first class. Yeah, this is really nice out. Yeah, I think this is uh, the best of the best uh, as far as viewing and comfort it's all theater, and, and theater I'm, seats i'm really becoming a all comfortable cushion seats it's not like you're sitting on a, a fan plane. of these diamond tables also if they're all for sale they're, they kind of they're, they're growing on me to uh <laughs> thank you i do view what's up pal that's uh you, you know, know what that is i know who it is okay uh, okay yeah, Al, Karen, Al, Karen, sorry, Karen says that's not good enough, Bucky. Let's do this again. Let's re-rack. Go ahead. Now, before, when I, I stepped in for just a second when I first got in the room, you, uh, like, given my name, my social security, and my phone number. Well, I'm going to change that before you leave. We have ways of <laughs> making that happen. <laughs> my name? Your social security number and everything. <laughs> Forget about that pension. <laughs> we take care of you. Yeah. Well, we got some rumble in the room, I guess. Uh, rumble in the jungle. Maybe Looked Darren. Like I think Darren might have wrapped it up. Is that what it was? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Well, scores are right there in front yeah. of you. On yeah, that's table. That's something else, huh? If you bring that on. Oh All right, that's yeah, pretty good. Well, you can move it up. Just a couple okay. more tables down below. Oh, okay. You just use your finger and push. There you go. Get, well, the one at the top, the very one up the top is us, so this is all the rest. This is done through uh, AZB and who is the who's moderating the, the numbers on that? Someone up in the, the stands? See the guy with the burgundy shirt up there? He's sitting next to I think it's Torsten Holman. Okay. That's Mike Howerton of AZ Billions. Okay, very good. See, that's what I'm saying. So from that position, you can see every table. Yeah. Well, at least the beads from there. Yeah, that's cool. You know, And you can see every table until the crowd starts to swarm the area. Well, I, I, will, I, I discussed something with Al before with the uh, with the other tables, and we'll we'll keep it off air for now. But yeah, it's, it's a good idea. It's, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we ha we have ample things to do things different ways, but technology is there. This know? all moves. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't understand right. what we're looking at here. This table right here in front of you is going to be gone. Uh, we can look down the line here, 
uh, the table behind this is going to be gone, and the table behind that is going to be gone. All right, here we Diamond go. comes in and takes these how tables hit, out. How she hit them, though? She's hitting that cut break, too. Now everybody's hitting that smart break, it seems like. Nobody wants to. Yeah, right to the rail. She hit them pretty hard. She's questioning uh, the rack. It's not. She, she's not questioning Bucky. She's trying to figure out why she can't make a ball on the right. break. Yeah, she hit so she's making sure that she's satisfied with everything before she breaks so right. she can try to find a sweet spot and, you know, make it repetition. But there's not many people that were making balls on this table anyway except for Torsten. You know, Torsten was making two and three balls up there. He was consistent. She's still the number one player in the... Uh, formally. 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 Yeah. yeah, I wonder why you moved up here, Al. It's beautiful. It's really you got nice. trees up here, you know that? Yeah, it's green. <laughs> Definitely green, but it's cold. It gets white too, right? Oh, yeah, real white. <laughs> you can come out the door and there'll be four foot of snow there. Well, Buffalo got hit with seven foot of snow. Remember last year? Yeah, my kid was in Boston. in one shot. My kid was in Boston last yeah. year. He oh, yeah, fun. Boston got whacked, too. He, he had fun. I think they, they got more than us, and we usually get more than them. So that was a pleasure to deal with. So how many chatters do we have in a room? Someone can post that for me. I'm always curious on that. I like Kelly Fisher didn't show, I don't believe. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the chatters are rough, Al. I like sitting in there and chatting away, but it is, it's a different venue, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Stuart. Semi shaft out yet, Stuart? Hey, Mr. Warnock. Nice stroke. Yeah, and you know, another thing, you get to walk around here, so you see all the nice 925, very good. You Thank get you. This, you see all, uh, all of these, these are the top players right now, you know? They really are. Well, you know, this is like a ranking points. This uh, Jerry Forsythe was explaining it, that there's actually like three different titles that this all counts for, so. Oh, so, and these give you points for the venue of yeah. the... Uh, uh, Moscone. Moscone Cup. Okay. And uh, Justin Hall and Skyla. They're uh, battling. Sky right now, Woodward. Right? Uh, they almost got locked out. Of this tournament. Of this tournament. And it was really, it was necessary for them to come here. Well, I might, I'm going to see if Al can put my entry in this year for next year. And we'll, yeah. I'll have to snap this thing off. Yeah, so we'll pay before we leave. Come out of retirement. Yeah. Cause I'll tell you what. And you, you pay it now, right? You get it in early. Then the 200 it don't matter anymore because it's next year. That money's Yeah, out. it's just finished. You can never make it up anyway, even if you spent it's, it. It's done. And uh, and then you come here for the for the weekend with your wife. And you have yeah, and we take snap off the 8 Gs. That's all. And we sp go down a table and we parlay it. <laughs> That's all. Then like we, we never had it. <laughs> like we never had it because we won't. <laughs> Can't get Cora. I, I got to stay out of that casino. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But I think that's where we're going right at 10 o'clock. <laughs> you going to eat? You, had, you just ate a little while ago. Didn't what you? did I eat? Oh, Chinese. That, that was breakfast. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that was breakfast. That was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I have a question. Yeah. This this room. I remember back in the day. After the tournament was over, the room would be hopping. This is a casino, so it might be a little different. Now, this is an important shot here. Um, hopping as far as, uh, like, action? Everybody is told to leave the uh, area. You have to leave the area? Yes, okay. when the last match is over. Okay. It all gets locked up. Oh, uh, there's only a couple of people that can stay in here that have clearance, Clarence. So and we are one of them. You should and be able to practice. And Karen Core. Puts another beat up. Now she was trailing by three at one time, then two. Now she's leading by one. Six to five. The Irish Invader. 
I tell you, don't give up on Karen. No, no. She's tough as nails. Sure is. I've seen her put many a champions away right here at this Turning Stone event and other tournaments. But uh, I've seen her put numerous uh, champions away. Well, now that she's ahead by one, it doesn't take that long. She says that rack is perfectly fine. Let's get it underway. Davy Gravy in the chat said it just the way it should be said. She is a grinder. She has no give up in her whatsoever. You got to love her. She's a sweetheart, too. Karen Cora set the break in game 12. Three balls pushing towards the side pocket. The one ball up at the top corner. The three, two ball coming into the show here to block the cue's path towards the one. Bucky coming up to the table looking at nothing. Now, he can mass say this if he wants. Get between the six and the two. Shouldn't be no problem, but. You can good up scratch, to too, with that shot. You better off push Roll it. out. All the way down to those, the uh, short rail hole. Don't go too low. Yeah. If it's a possible bank, she'll bank it. If not, she'll play him duck. You know, she, uh, Karen plays some of the really good saves. Great She's defensive player. Yeah. It's not my vocabulary, but. <laughs> it's yeah, you're, you're like, uh, let me draw the ball six rails back around the table just to get in position. You got to shoot everything. It's, so, uh, it's my, it's <laughs> my downfall. Is for, right? Downfall. That's a good How's shot. this? Yeah. Wow. How's that? Nice shot. Boy, this cr tough crowd, huh? Yeah. Well, two rail shot here. Two rail kick, but there's no, uh, going to hit it pretty easy. Try and get it over to the side rail. And then between the six oh, eight. Oh, too hard. Missed the ball completely. Well, he he one-stroked it. That may cost you. Play him safe again. Oh, she's a run-out jam up player, but she does I'm, have the opportunity to I'm, play safe. I'm locking him up again after that, after that poke that he just tried. She's going to keep the heat on you and keep you in your seat. She don't even want you getting it out to try another safe. Well, that's true. That's a good move. She says, I sat there long enough. Let me do my thing. And you sit there now. Three balls she's looking at. Yeah. She go a little straight on that, too. I mean, like a little more angle on that. Because now she's going to be shooting at three. Well, she's got to draw back a little bit to create an angle to come back to the four down the table by Which the nine. Which one's the four? Back here by the nine? TV ball, yeah. The pink. Okay, she's good. These balls do move nice on this diamond, though. Well, the air condition helps, you know. Yeah, I, I was glad I listened in the other day, and everybody was saying her call. So that's a good. Uh, you know what? You, There's a couple of people here that, uh, you know, I go out every once in a while, and uh, I got that nasty habit of smoking a cigarette occasionally and uh there's a couple of people out there and they said hey al thanks for giving us the warning yeah. i didn't know them from adam and they said we were listening in on the live stream before we left the house and uh they were the guy had a vest he had a sweatshirt i mean he was that, his wife had like a super down coat believe me it's cold but a great venue you know I said it before, and I'll say it again. This place is the BTUs on this air conditioning is set for so many thousands of people. Those bleaches that are down there at the other end, Troy, you can't see. It, it looks like well, big I can see them. Yeah, no. They all pull out. I these out curtains this drop. Area. This, these curtains drop. This bleaches that come up all the way almost yeah, to the ceiling can, here. You can have. Uh, and these are some of the people. This that, looks uh, like. It's an event room. There's a big stage behind us. Probably holds eight. 8,000 people in this place. We got to come to this guy, Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable <laughs> You know, these are some of the comedians and some of the singers that use this room. And you'll be surprised uh, when this tournament is over, in about four hours, this whole thing will be broken down and gone. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Well, and this, I guess the stage is right back of us. She missed it. The wow. Sta the stage is right yeah, back of right us, back right? Yeah. It's probably a raised stage. They have stadium seating and balconies. Actually, uh, and actually... This pulls out, and the stage opens up in the middle of the floor. Nice. So you get uh, seats all around the whole thing. Can we get one of these in, like, the tri-state area? This would be good. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of dollars. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Just blew my eardrums out. Choking here. It's okay. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. 
And Karen's going to pull up another one here. Yeah, the way the uh, momentum's going and she's grabbing a table, it looks like uh, this fella's in trouble. Now, is this the, uh, as you call it, the B-side? Uh, I'm not certain. The brackets are online. You can go on uh, azbillions.com. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you walk. <laughs> <laughs> Got 15 screens up here. No keyboards. There we go. There you have it. 7-5 as Karen Kaur starts to open up her lead. I'm Upstate Owl of AZB TV, and sitting in the booth is New Jersey pool player. You see him every Wednesday right. on the game show at AccuStats.com. Losing my money. See, I get a kick. You see, you see this young lady that just walked in with her boyfriend or husband here. You see how you know, like you got the like, what do you call those strapless dresses? Is that what you would call something like that? Sitting right in the front row at the bottom there. Oh, okay, right. Nothing over her shoulders, right? And just like. I, I get a kick at it because you're going to see them in about 10 minutes walk out. Yeah, because it's cold. freezing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we, we axed the turning stone many a times to turn it. They're not going to turn it down. No. This Look is at the nine ball. That's a win right there as the cue ball comes to rest right in the center of the table. Bucky cannot believe it. She figured he out looks, how to break that time. He looks over at the booth and he says, oh, my goodness, what did I do wrong? I was leading this match. I had it down by three games. All of a sudden, it's Karen Core to the hill. Bucky Subathon has five. He better he better start racking like he did the other times when she wasn't making anything. Well, no, he he wasn't he doesn't <laughs> fool around. You know, he doesn't fool around with the hey, rack. Listen, when you rack them and you push the balls and you twist them a little bit, like you don't have to twist. Are you them. are you uh, schooling everybody here? Yeah, I'll give out some secrets. Well, you're schooling about a thousand people. Go ahead. That's not too bad. We got to teach. It's, it's, <laughs> a, the space it's, a, it's is a gift. There. Not, yeah, oh, no, a gift. No space. Okay. Listen. No you, charge. You give tight racks. Everything's frozen. But when you roll them up, it, whether you, you spin the balls back or forward, same thing in the front, is how they, they connect to each other and how they're going to break apart. And you can kind of manipulate the rack that way. Well, that's pretty scary. We might, we might have to get an expertise. That's why, that's why I don't like racking for myself. Well, there's going to be something coming out in Christmas if you want to learn about racking uh, and breaking. It'll be coming out around Christmas time. It's not released yet. Nor I heard. Is it? Yes. Oh, you did hear about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. They released the press release already? No, I got oh, an okay. inside track. Okay, yeah. I know a couple people. Yeah. You know a couple of people that talk I'm to my down. people. <laughs> you know, a couple. <laughs> I, I always talk to myself. <laughs> well, what's, right. the, what's the score here again? The Karen's on here? the hill, and Bucky Subentang has wow. five. Karen's Bucky playing out of Binghamton, New York. You live on the one-way street. No, oh, he's talking. I was talking to someone else that the, is giving him the heat. I guess he. Uh, Al's uh, rifling a beer from one of the uh, contestants here. Good deal, Al. <laughs> I'm going to give him the heat back, Al. Well, Al, you got a beer, right? No, we that's a s orange soda. One way? Come out of Australia. We you live on a one-way street? I still do. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what Al hit him up. He's like, hey, that's how he got the free free drink. That's not, I, okay. Oh, it's like a nice tea. Yeah, so out of soda Australia. Pop. Right, know, back, back to the match here. Yeah. Uh, she's got a little bit of a... Uh, Does she play the triple nickel? I don't know. I'm she's looking, going for it. The I'm triple combination. Get ready for it. The five, nine, six into the corner pocket. Yeah, it's a pretty good... Yeah, she don't have to do much. You just got to watch that cue ball. Well, see where the five's going to go. got to hit it good. There's spaces between all three. She's yeah. got to hit it real good. You know what? The five's going to stay right there. She's going to park the cue ball right in the back on the middle of the table somewhere. A little short. Missed it. No, she made it. I wanted to see if you were awake. All right. Looks like this one's over. We're going to dinner here soon, I think. Not to jinx her, but she should be out here. 11.30. Is it 11.30? Wow. 
The time flies in this place. It sure does. I know I'm I'm uh I bet you everybody wishes that they would continue to play because we'd still have 900 to 1,000 viewers. Well, you know, if there's an interesting match going on behind it, there that match is done too. Uh, we got Naomi Williams, Williams, I'm sorry, on the other side. Um, we can probably switch over camera and just sit here and let the people enjoy you for a little while. Yeah, you yeah. know, because it is the weekend. And did you get any sleep? A lot uh, of the kids last night night finally? Yeah. Oh, boy. You must have passed out, right? Oof, like a rock. And Bucky Suvatong says, that's enough. Karen, you got it. Karen Core defeats Bucky Suvatong by a score of 9 to 5, 9 to 6. Uh, at one time, uh, Karen was trailing by 3. What a change. And there you have the final score. I want to thank New Jersey Pool Player for sitting in for about 5 minutes. And uh, Troy, it's always a pleasure having you know that. Thank you. Uh, we're going to end this recording. And, uh, thank you. It's always, it's, it's always a recording, so we're going to have to end this recording <laughs> in two seconds. And two by two, we'll be right back. So please stand by.